Over the years, I've been compared to a lot of things. Uh, most commonly, um, some of my favorites, piece of shit, um, sarcastic asshole. Those are just two of many. Honestly, it's since I joined TikTok, people have just been comparing me to a lot of different things. So I thought, might as well, let's power rank them. Let's make a good old tier list because people don't seem to do that enough of those. But in order to make a proper assessment of my doppelgangers, I'm gonna have to look like myself, which I don't right now because I need a haircut big time. So I'm gonna go fix that real quick. Boom, let's go. Wow, I got a nice little horizon line on my forehead. That's nice, that's attractive. Okay, quick wardrobe change. Um, Cause I'm small now, look at me, I'm small. So I took all my TikTok comments that said I looked like certain people, some more than others, but they were all commented at one point, and I uh, compiled them all into a little list. So we're gonna kind of rank them top to bottom on how much I think they look like me, not what you think, what I think, because I don't know what you think. I guess this is gonna be a exercise in self-image, and um, Let's, let's see what I think about myself. Let's get introspective. So first up, number one, obviously this is the one I get the most. This is the most popular one. It's Cameron Fry, AKA the actor Alan Ruck from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now, this one makes a lot of sense because like, but the hair really throws me off because my guess would be they purposely made his hair look like that and so flat and just stupid to make him look dumb. I don't think I look dumb. My face looks like him. It's a long skinny face. Like the, the face makes a lot of sense. Like long skinny face. Like my face looks like God was, when he was dropping me on earth, he was like holding me and he held me a little too long and it kind of stretched out a little bit. You know what I mean? I have to put this at S just because it's the fan favorite. This is every single video, every single thing I ever post on the internet, someone comments Cam. So for your sake, if it was up to me, wait, shoot, no, it is up to me. Screw you guys, I'm putting this at A. I'm not putting it at S, I forgot, it is up to me. Now next up we have this might be the most um, interesting. This is a TikToker. Her name is uh, Gracie Birmingham. And everyone likes to comment that I look like either A, her brother, or B, the girl version of her. I kind of see it. Again, it's the face is everything. The hair color kind of matches too, but there is the fact that she is a female. So if you take that into consideration, it knocks it down a few pegs. I'll say if she was a guy, probably an S, probably. We'll go B, I feel like that's a solid B. B for boy, cause I'm a boy. Now, this one, you know him. You know him as Clay Jensen. I know him as Dylan Minetti. Uh, Minette, 13 reasons why. Not a good TV show. Have I watched every episode? Yes, I have. Just, I, it's one of those things you watch because you just, you wa I don't, ah, I don't, my brain hurts trying to figure out why I watched it. But I watched every single episode and I don't know why. I still don't know why. But back to the point. To me, Clay Jensen is the most basic average white guy ever. And I kind of have those qualities but I think I'm a little more unique. Not saying it's good, not gassing myself up. I just think I'm a little more off kilter, not average white guy, just a little different. So I don't see any like facial similarities. Maybe build, maybe build's kind of similar, but he's a little he's a little thicker. I'm a little taller probably. I He, go, he gets a C. He gets a C for Clay Jensen. All right, this one makes no sense to me. I think people just got confused. So people on my um, TikTok will just go on just the comment section and they'll be like, hey, Ferris Bueller, 
Like they call me Ferris, when I think what they mean is I look like Cam, not Ferris, because I don't, I don't look anything like this guy. Yeah, I don't look anything like this guy. I'm gonna go D. We're just filling out all the categories so far. Um, here's a, here's an interesting one. George O'Malley, is that, is that the name? I think that's the name. From Grey's Anatomy, spoiler alert, RIP. I don't see it. This one kind of confused me. Okay, no, I didn't see it at first, but the more I look at it, maybe if I put on a few pounds, beefed up a little bit, got a little stockier, maybe lifted a weight once, I don't know, maybe. This is one where like, if someone said I looked like this in public, I'd be like, hell yeah, let's go. So for that reason, I'm gonna go B. Next up, okay. <laughs> so I never heard of this guy before. He's a director. His name's David Lynch. Just an oddly specific guy for someone to comment that I look like him. Because, I mean, he's old as shit. No offense, how old is he? Let's, let's He's 74. He is 74. If I look like that at 74, how mad am I? I don't think at all. I think I'm pretty happy. Like, he's got some flow for 74. I feel like most 74 year olds would kill for that amount of hair. That looks thick, looks luscious. He dresses nicely. I mean, obviously I'm not 74 right now. And I won't be for another 54 years, but I don't hate this one. I kind of want to put this in A as like a before after with Alan Ruck and then this guy. David Lynch A category. All right, three more to go. Let's see if we maybe get some S's here. It's gonna be hard. S's is tough because if you're an S, I think you basically have to be me. So next up we have Michael Sarah. Um, <laughs> no, no, I don't see this at all. I don't see any, I'm just gonna base this strictly off looks. I don't think I look anything like him. I'm moving him down to D. D stands for do not look anything like Wyatt. Okay, so someone commented that I look like a blonde David Henry. So David Henry, you know, the guy from Wizards. Disney guy, which is a Waverly Place. Um, honestly, kind of like, yeah. If he had like my hair color, I think we would look very similar. He doesn't, unfortunately, and I couldn't find a way to make him blonde because I don't own Photoshop because I'm not rich, but his jaw is a little bit better than mine. I don't think I have the jaw for it. He's got, he's got a little, if you took my face and just kind of a little bit, compressed it, I feel like that's a solid B. I think a B category is like, I could see it, but it needs a few tweaks. So I'm gonna go B, David Henry. Congrats, bud. And the last one, the one that I don't even get at all, Rob Schneider. They're just, I think, I think honestly, I think people in my comment sections are putting all white people in a hat and then just mixing it up, grabbing one out and being like, hey, white, you look like this guy. I look nothing like Rob Schneider. Absolutely nothing. His face looks different, his hair looks different, his eyes looks different, his nose, mouth, everything's different. So Rob Schneider, D minus. These are all just ones I compiled over the past couple days. I'm sure there's more out there. And I would love to see more out there of people who look like me. What you think people who look like me look like. Keep, keep the doppelgangers coming. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great day. Not just a day. Just have a great day today. And if you're out there and you kind of look like me, I'm sorry. It's a tough road. I know. All right. Peace, guys. See you uh, fri Friday. Friday. Yeah, dream girl, dreaming. I be dreaming. Missing all the days you got me feeling. I said I love you, baby. You know I mean it. Hey, yeah, dream girl. I be dreaming.